Hey guys, we're making gold apples today. This is my candy mixture. I just took it off. I cooked it up to 300 degrees. It looks like that little plink blob is in there because that's the candy color. I mean the candy flavor I put in there, watermelon. So it cooked in with the mixture. I have my apples here, which are already been cleaned. If you go watch my um, tutorials, Cooking with Sharice, I show you how to clean your apples and I show you how to make the candy mixture. Now today, I'm going to use a different color. Usually I use the gold gel coloring to make my um, gold apples, but today I'm going to use gold sheen. Okay, and let's see how this comes out. I didn't want to cook it with the gold sheen in there, so I'm gonna add it now. Maybe like a tablespoon, two teaspoons. And we're gonna mix it in. It's gonna bubble up. Don't worry about that. Just wanna make sure I put in enough to give it that nice gold color. And we're going to let this sit for two minutes because you don't want the bubbles on your apples. So now that that's mixed in, we're going to let it cool down for a second. Okay. This is the first time I'm using it, so I'm hoping it's going to come out nice and pretty and match the gold sticks that I have for the apples. I have my silicone mats here to put my candy apples on. If you don't have the mats, you can use parchment paper. And I like to spray it with a little nonstick spray. But if you, um, so either one, the mats or the parchment paper will work because you don't want to use wax paper because you don't want your candies to stick to it. You want it somewhere where it can be cool and dry off after you dip them, okay? I hope this works guys and it should I wanted that nice gold color because when you use the other color let me show you what I'm talking about the color I usually use I usually use this one the gold full coloring so today is the sheen and we're gonna see what it do All right, the bubbles look like they have calmed down, so we're gonna start dipping. I like to lean my pot to the side so that I can get a good dip on this apple because you wanna make sure it's fully coated. Look at that. How pretty is that? Awesome, look at that, guys. So pretty. You just want to dip, make sure it's fully coated. Close the top of that apple up, okay? Close that top of that apple up. Shake off the excess and then scrape it across the side so you don't have that bottom. And then you want to keep dipping quickly because you don't want your mixture to get hard. Shake it off, scrape it across the bottom, on to the next apple. And I'm gonna I'm dipping eight apples today. And you can get eight apples out this mixture if you just keep dipping. You just gotta keep moving because you don't want it to harden on you. So just keep dipping. Shake it off. Scrape the bottom keep going and I didn't use any bright white or white white coloring for this you don't need it when you're using the sheet scrape across 
pickles. Our last apple. Shake it, shake it, shake it. And there you have it. Beautiful gold candy apples. All right, guys, cooking with Sharice.